What's up guys, my name is Calvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I just caught this really cool insect. It's not prepared to make a YouTube video. I don't even have my tripod with me, which I should have came prepared with just in case. But uh, yeah, this is completely impromptu and can't wait to show you guys what I caught. All right, so I know I'm currently recording this video right now, but I'm sure I gave it away as to what this exactly is in the thumbnail of the video or I probably already gave it away in the title, but if you aren't familiar with what this is, this is actually not a species of bumblebee. I know many of you might be surprised by that, just by the looks of this insect, but this is actually not a species of bumblebee. As a matter of fact, it is actually a species of fly, specifically a Lafraya thoracica, the eastern yellow-backed Lafraya. Now, the eastern yellow-back Lafraya is a species of robber fly. Robber flies, which sometimes go by the name assassin flies, are flies that reside within the family known as Asylidae. Within the Asylidae family, there's over 6,000 different species of robber flies. Now, robber flies as a whole are predatory and will feed predominantly on insects and other arthropods. There are some species, however, some of the larger species of robber flies, particularly within the genus known as Malophora, that will actually feed on hummingbirds. Now, this may not come as a surprise because there are a few other insects that indulge in feeding on hummingbirds such as large species of mantises and also some of the larger species of dragonflies. Now you may be wondering how in the world does a fly take down and unalive a hummingbird? Well the answer actually lies within their specialized mouth part. So as you can see underneath of its head that pokey mouth part that is sticking out is what's known as its proboscis. Now, the proboscis is what conceals its hypopharynx. So the hypopharynx is another mouth part that is a needle-like mouth part that pierces and injects saliva into its prey. Now, the saliva is actually laced with venom. And so before I go ahead and talk about the venom, Think of the proboscis as sort of like a sheath that conceals the hypopharynx. It conceals its, its weapon, right? <laughs> and so once that hypopharynx pokes out from the proboscis, it injects saliva that is laced with venom. Now, the venom does two things. It has two properties. The first is to paralyze its prey leaving it completely immobilized and unable to escape once it is caught. And then the second thing is that it actually liquefies and destroys its prey's insides. And so internally, it liquefies the tissues, making it easy for the robber fly to then drink and consume its prey. Since, oh, hold on, before, uh, I had a bee on me. I was gonna show it on camera, but it just flew away. <laughs> So because robber flies don't have chewing mouth parts, you know, the kind that you see in like dragonflies and mantises and other insects, robber flies, well, actually all flies, I should say, not just specifically robber flies, but all flies in general do not have chewing mouth parts. Flies have to suck and drink their food in order to consume it. And so the venom because it destroys the insides of its prey, it makes it easy for the robber fly to then drink its prey out just like a smoothie, right? <laughs> so really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys my brand new line of stickers that I have available for sale on my website. All of these are various animals that I drew on paper by hand, colored them in, and then converted them into high quality, long lasting, waterproof stickers. Just to give you a quick idea of what they look like up close, here's one of my favorite drawings that I drew of a European hornet. All of these drawings were achieved by using these markers to color them in. If you're interested in purchasing any of these stickers, you can head on over to my website, calvinwiley.net, or you can hit the link in my description, which will send you directly to my website for you to purchase them. Thank you so much to all of those in advance who end up getting one for supporting my small business. And now, back to the video. 
Now let's talk about the appearance of the Eastern Yellowback Lafraya. As you already know, it looks just like a species of bumblebee. This form of appearance is what's known as Batesian mimicry. Batesian mimicry is when a harmless organism takes on the form of a harmful or even potentially life-threatening organism. And so in the case of the Eastern Yellowback Lafraya, it looks just like a species of bumblebee. And the reason for that is because the females of bumblebee species are able to defend themselves with a venomous sting. And so if a predator were to come across an Eastern Yellowback Lafraya, it might mistake it for being an actual bumblebee, which it will probably then leave alone, which will then spare the Eastern Yellowback Lafraya's life. And so it can be very handy to look like an organism that could potentially cause harm. All right, well, this is pretty cool. So after I recorded the video that you guys are watching, I just call it another species of robber fly. And this one is actually within the same genus as the Eastern Yellowback Lafraya. And so this is Lafraya saracea. Uh, I'm not sure what the common name for this one is, but uh, yeah, cool to find another species of robber fly within the same genus. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm gonna let this one go though. All right, so this will probably be the last time I insert myself within the video that you guys are currently watching, but I just wanted to say that I just caught another uh, Lafraya saracea, and I looked up the common name and completely forgot that I've made a YouTube short of this species before and posted it as Silky Lafraya, so I completely forgot the common name. Remember the scientific name, but forgot the common name which is you know just backwards within itself but whatever <laughs> all right so before i go ahead and release this eastern yellowback lafraya back into the wild i'm just going to quickly do my outro i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some information about robber flies and also bait scene mimicry uh, so if you enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, KelvinWiley.net, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, be free. <laughs>